Hey, Pretty Girl Club. Let's talk about the men who are jealous of light-skinned women. Yeah, I said it. Um, I want to talk about this because I feel like this is something that we have not really discussed on this channel, and I want to make a series on it. So this series is actually inspired by the skin bleaching series that I recently did. So when I was interviewing the first girl who talked about going from dark-skinned, unambiguous black woman to light-skinned black woman, she actually mentioned how some men are actually jealous of light-skinned women. And the way that she said that, like I had never heard anybody say that sentence out of their mouth. And so I had actually never thought about it being based on skin tone until she actually mentioned it. And when she said that some men, like especially men in the black community, can be jealous of light-skinned women, it just unlocked so many memories that I've had. And it made me actually start thinking about this. And it reminded me of how a lot of the humbling tactics that I have received have come from like black men, for example. Um, not just black men, though. I've actually had a white man stereotype me before and say that I was snooty and snobby and he didn't even know me. This is literally when I was in high school. It was actually a teacher that was doing this. Um, and he was a teacher who used to teach at an all black school in the, in the hood, basically. So he transferred from that school to teaching at my private school, which was kind of like a, a gossip girl type of school. Um, and I remember him calling me like bougie and snobby and snooty. And if you think of that word snob and that word bougie, those two words in particular, I've noticed people tend to sometimes associate with uh, light-skinned women, or you may be called that. I'm not saying that women of other skin tones can't be called that, but when that woman who bleached her skin talked about experiencing that dynamic, it made me think of so many humbling tactics, and it also reminded me of Kevin Samuels. He used to love going on YouTube and telling light-skinned women in particular, you're a six, you're a five, you're average at best, nobody wants you, you're a baby mama, you're fat, what's your dress size? I remember that the videos that he used to do where he showed light-skinned women in particular, those views would be so high, like so many people would click on them, um, so many people would be in the comment section saying that these women think they're better, just random, like what sounds like jealousy, honestly, because it's like, even if this woman does think she's cute, why does it bother you? So it's the same talking point that I would give to the unambiguous black women. It's like, even if this woman does think that she is pretty, or if she does think that her skin tone is cute, why do you care so much about what her self-perception is? Why do you care about how high her self-esteem is? And why do you take pleasure in trying to lower her self-esteem? Um, so I was thinking about Kevin Samuels. Another thing that I'm thinking about is how I've actually had ex-boyfriends in the past or men, particularly black men, make disparaging comments and actually admit that they were jealous of light-skinned women. Like I can think of one guy in particular, he straight up said out of his mouth that he doesn't like beautiful women and he thinks that they're stuck up. And then he said, especially if they are lighter skinned. So I thought that's interesting. Like why would he randomly also tie the skin tone in there? And then I also remember that with that same guy, there was one day where I was really dressed up and I looked cute. I had on like a dress and I had on heels. My hair was all done. I was wearing my hair curly and it just looked really pretty. And then he started making comments like, oh, don't start thinking you're better or don't start acting different now and acting cocky because you have on a dress and heels. And so him randomly saying that, that almost reminds me of something that a jealous woman would say. I also remember a time when I was at work and there was an unambiguous dark skinned black man there and he randomly brought up how his cousin was not mixed and was lighter than me. So once again, you know how in the black community, they love to humble light skinned people by telling you how much lighter their cousins are than you. So I remember him doing random stuff like that. I also remember that black guy saying, nobody gives a fuck if you're mixed with Mexican and white. Like he randomly just brought this up when, when somebody else had asked me about my background. And it's like, well, that also sounds like something a jealous woman would actually say. And it also reminds me of even some of the light-skinned black guys or black guys in general who do not date light-skinned women or they don't like being around light-skinned women. I have heard so many times that a lot of guys think that light-skinned women are like too high maintenance or that we're supposedly like too bougie or we are not going to treat them as good as somebody who is quote unquote more humble. Um, I've noticed that a lot of black men, they will actually try to triangulate 
light skinned black women versus darker skinned women, they will try to make us compete with one another because that's the only way that that man feels like he can raise his value. Or another thing that I've noticed with black men in particular is they will try to make light skinned women compete with Latinas and they will try to make it like, oh, you know, these Latina women are your competition. So once again, it's just another triangulation tactic and another humbling tactic. Even if you look at the way that a lot of guys who play that 2K game, you know, the video games where you can create your own characters, a lot of guys, they will make their NBA player a light-skinned black guy. And I've noticed that a lot of men who have inferiority complexes about their skin tone and stuff like that, um, not only do they antagonize light-skinned black men, but in a lot of cases, if they are around a light-skinned black woman that they can't have, then they will make negative comments, almost like these humbling types of comments, these jealous hater comments that are similar to what you would hear a woman say. Comments such as, she's mediocre, she's not that pretty, oh, you think you're cute, you ain't better than nobody. All of these random comments that remind you of someone who is jealous. Another thing that I've noticed is um, I remember one time I was talking to a non-black guy and he actually mentioned how if he could change his race that he would be born as a light-skinned black man instead of being born as his race, which was he had no blackness at all. And that was interesting because later on this guy, he also started saying humbling tactics against me as well. And so I started to think back on my life and I know that for me personally, I have actually had negative experiences when it came to unambiguous monoracial dark skinned black men in particular. Um, all of my experiences with them have really been negative um, to the point where I've actually never had, for example, I've actually never had like a boyfriend or something like that who was an unambiguous monoracial dark skinned black man. So like not mixed. And the reason for that was because I noticed that they would constantly, in my experience, not all, just saying in my experience, they would constantly make comments like, I think I'm better, I'm conceited, I think I'm all that, I am bougie, I think I'm the prize. Like all of these sorts of comments to the point where it just made it to where with me, it caused me to um, just not really hang out with them as much or not really be in their presence as much because I never felt as welcomed around kind of like these lower status unambiguous black men, because that's mainly what I was around when I was a teenager and stuff. Obviously, you know, if you're a teenager or in college, the kids don't really have money like that. So that's what I was around. But another thing that I've actually noticed is that even now in my thirties, um, whenever I have gone to social settings, because I have friends who are unambiguous black women. So let's say we're in like a, a co-ed social setting where there are black girls and black guys, and we're all in the friend group. I've noticed that usually if the guy is kind of lower status, he will, he'll do the same tactics actually as like a jealous woman where he will try to exclude me or whatever. Or, you know, the guys that try to compliment everybody else except you. I've actually had that happen to me before where black men in particular, they will compliment my one friend, the friend next to that, the other friend next to me. And then they'll purposely go around the table and say something nice about everyone. And then like, look at me to see my reaction or they'll look at me in hopes that they have lowered my self-esteem because it's almost as if they have this stereotype in the back of their minds that she thinks she's better anyway, or she already thinks that she's all that. And so I'm not even going to compliment her like that sort of thing. Um, so very similar behaviors to how you see a jealous woman acting. You know how jealous girls, they'll do the same thing where they will purposely try to exclude you. They will purposely try to ignore you randomly. They'll purposely say hi to everybody at the table except you. And it's just like really weird. And you're just like, okay, like, should I get out of here? Um, so I have noticed this when it came to men. And so when I was interviewing that girl who actually lightened her skin, going from a dark skin to light skin, and when she talked about how she began to receive both the pedestalization, but also the jealousy from black men as well, that explained so many of my personal encounters that I've had with unambiguous mono dark skinned black men in particular. We all know that when someone is jealous of you, one of the main coping mechanisms that they use for their jealousy is to publicly humiliate you. And I've actually noticed that I've had unambiguous black men do this to me before. So for example, um, I remember one time I got on the bus, like me and my friends, we both got on the bus and we both didn't have money to pay. And the guy, usually he lets people get on the bus for free. This is back when I was a student. So I think that students at that time 
um, they could get on the bus for free for certain hours. But then after that, then you had to pay. So I remember he wanted everybody else to get on the bus for free, like my other friends who were also, they were black and unambiguous. Um, but then suddenly with me, he was like, you didn't pay to get on the bus. And I was like, oh yeah, I don't have money. Like basically it sounded like he almost wanted to call me out that I like did not have money to pay to get on the bus. Almost like this humiliation type of thing because he was raising his voice randomly. And another situation that I had like this was when I was walking through a grocery store one time and then there was this black guy who was pushing a dolly and he had, you know, some groceries and stuff. And I noticed that with all the other people there, like with the white people and the black people that were also in the store, he didn't say like, excuse me, can you get out of the way? Like he didn't say anything to them. But suddenly with me, he was like, excuse me. And then I was just like, what? And I just turned around. He was like, can you step to the side, please? And I was like, okay. And I stepped to the side. And he was like, other side. Like, can you step to the other side, please? Stand over there. So he was trying to, in my opinion, do like this humbling or almost like a humiliation type of thing. Because I've noticed that sometimes low status men, if they associate your phenotype and your skin tone uh, with beauty and status, then sometimes it makes them feel more powerful to kind of humble you. Very similar to how a jealous woman would react uh, when they say things like you're mediocre or you're not that pretty. So just like how we are pedestalized yet envied amongst unambiguous black women, I've actually noticed the same pattern with black men as well, where um, you get kind of this dual experience of being both pedestalized by some, but also heavily envied by others. Another reason that I feel like some black men can be jealous of light-skinned women is because they associate that woman's light skin with having more privilege. Not only does she have female privilege, quote unquote, but she also has light skin privilege, whatever that means to that man. Um, but I've noticed that there is sometimes this anger and also a lack of relatability that some unambiguous black men have with light skinned women, or at least that's been the case with me. Um, one of my issues that I've always had when socializing with unambiguous black men, whether it was in friendships or in college or whatever, the problem was their lack of an ability to relate to me. I've noticed that a lot of the black men that were at my HBCU, Yes, we were young. We were like teenagers in early 20s, but a lot of them heavily identified with struggling and kind of like being underprivileged and um, would talk a lot about their background and how much trauma they have and stuff. And so because I didn't have those traumas, I could not trauma bond with them. So this is something I talk about on this channel a lot. I talk about how some people who view their blackness as a handicap, they get mad when you can't trauma bond with them. So I've noticed that that was like my issue with channels like Chrissy's was I can't trauma bond with that. I don't relate to a lot of the mainstream talking points in black empowerment YouTube spaces. But I've noticed the same thing though as well with some unambiguous black men where they'll start talking about how everybody hates them and they don't like their skin and people are discriminating against them and whatever. And then when I don't have any stories to share about how bad my life is and stuff, then suddenly I get viewed as thinking I'm better. And it's like, how is it that I don't have the tra same traumas as you and suddenly that equates to me thinking I'm better? Have you ever noticed that? Have you ever noticed how some people who view you as privileged, they almost want to inflict trauma upon you because they are hoping to humble you? Um, so I've actually noticed this with the men who specifically will go out of their way to cheat on you. Uh, cheating is a humbling tactic. A lot of men use cheating as a way to humble their woman. And I've noticed that sometimes skin tone can play a part in this. Or um, you know the types of guys where let's say you're skinny and he cheats on you with a girl who's thick. Or let's say you're light skin, he cheats on you with a girl who's dark skin. Let's say you're black, he cheats on you with a girl who's white. I've noticed that a lot of guys, they will actually use cheating as a humbling tactic as well. Um, or they will try to convince you that you are somehow not special. Another thing that I've noticed from black men is they will do the same thing that a lot of jealous black women will do, which is comparing one light skin to another light skin who's lighter than you, or they will compare you to another light skin woman who is more white passing than you. And then they will try to make it like you are somehow lower. Same thing. Like, like how I said with the Latinas, they'll do the same thing where it's like, they will compare you to a woman who is Latin American, but non-black, uh, Latin American. But what do you ladies think? Do you think that there are some unambiguous black men who have been jealous of light-skinned women? Have you ever had black men associate you with having these negative stereotypes 
Um, because another thing I've noticed is I've actually heard some black men specifically say that they date dark skinned black women because they feel like those women understand them better, AKA have the same traumas as them, which I actually find to be a very colorist talking point. Like the fact that you're associating dark skin with trauma, that in and of itself is colorist. Um, but I have heard black men say comments like that. Now that I think of it, I remember one guy, he talked about how dark skinned black women treat him better than light skinned black women. He said that the dark skinned women were more like, I guess, ride or die for lack of better words. He was saying that he felt like the darker skinned black women were um, more selfless, whereas the light skinned women were more like self-preserving and kind of like more about social climbing. So, but that also sounds like a hating ass, colorist ass talking point because it's like, wait a minute. First of all, any woman can be self-preserving. And secondly, why are you mad at women who want to protect themselves and women who want to level up in life? Like that sounds like you're just a hater and like you just want someone who feels like they're at the bottom so you can basically abuse them. Like that sounds ignorant. But what do you ladies think? Let me know in the comment section and I'll talk to you next time. Stay pretty ladies.